they hate us because they ain't us. The Lazarus Group, or APT-38, is one of the most notorious nation-state threat actors around. And guess where they're located? North Korea. And guess what they target? Cryptocurrency. But right now, what we're seeing from this group is that they are targeting cryptocurrency firms, platforms, etc. that deal with things that are gambling related. Now, I don't know why they're targeting crypto firms that are gambling related, but they are. And we're going to hop into that right now. All right. Just so you have a little bit of history of what exactly is going on here. So initially, a payment gateway service called CoinPates was attacked and they lost just around $37 million from this attack. They suspected that it was Lazarus Group. And, you know, that's, uh, you know, assumption that they had was actually correct. Um, the FBI was able to basically, through some forensic analysis, was able to identify that it was probable that it was the Lazarus Group, or APT-38, which is what I'll likely be calling them through the rest of this sort of overview. Now, I think it was probably around that same time, hopping over here, another payment gateway provider known as Alfalfa, um, who also, the both of these payment providers provide services for gambling sites and some other sites, but gambling, I think, is probably their, their go-to when it comes to making income for, for their businesses. And they were also breached with um, a stolen amount equaling up to 23 million. So now you have uh, roughly 60 million stolen um, from these two payment providers. And um, this one was also linked to North Korean Lazarus Group or APT 38. So that just gives you a little bit of background of basically what was going on back in July for these payment provider um, services for gambling sites. Now, come September, there was the stake.com hack um, where their uh, hot wallet was also breached, uh, very similarly to the other two where the hot wallets were breached for $41 million. So now we're up to uh, well over $100 million of um, cryptocurrency breached and um, or stolen, should I say. And the FBI also concluded that this was uh, possibly APT 38. So what's interesting about this is, you know, APT 38 is a notorious group who goes after cryptocurrency um, companies, cryptocurrency projects, and right now it appears that their campaign is targeting uh, gambling uh, platforms, whether that be the, the payment service gateways like CoinPage or Alfalfa, or whether that be the actual platform stake.com. So um, those who are basically in this um, industry, where whether it be gambling or providing services for gambling and our cryptocurrency related probably should take a look at this new um, threat intel information that is open source information and just make sure that you are monitoring it because it seems like not only is North Korea targeting these but they are also successful again that's a hundred uh, plus million that they've stolen and then here we have um, the actual reporting from FBI. This was back in August 22nd of this year, showing um, some of the basically addresses that are holding um, some of those funds and then possibly selling them off as well. Um, they talk about coins paid here in this uh, report. Um, so. Uh, I'll probably provide this down in the description below, just so uh, people who are interested in this coins paid alfalfa um, sort of uh, uh, breach to their hot wallets 
um, from APT 38 can can read what FBI had to say about it. It's a very small article. Um, they later released uh, this after the stake.com uh, hot wallet hot wallet breach, um, where again they identified APT 38 here as responsible. They provided some addresses here, very similar to the other report. And I will, again, probably provide this down in the description below. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, again, this is just FYI uh, for, for those who are into cryptocurrency and also into gambling. You may want to possibly take a break from it because the North Korean um, threat actor is hot with... Um, targeting gambling related cryptocurrency industries. So that's it guys. I know it's extremely negative to be talking about cryptocurrency related hacks when we always want to talk about bull run this, bull run that, win Bitcoin, 100K. But you gotta also follow the bad news. You gotta also follow the fails. And I'm trying to get back to that with my channel so I hope you really like this little thing that I'm doing here where I'm going to talk about hacks because that's what I do in my job. So I'm going to bring it to YouTube. Really? <laughs> so if you want, you can like, share, comment. You can also comment and say, hey, all I want to talk about is my Bitcoin going to 100 to a million dollars. That's fine. But for me, I want to give you all honesty and talk about the hacks as well, because I do think it's extremely important to know this side of the cryptocurrency industry. Anyways, you know the whole deal with me. Put an F in the chat. Put an F in the chat for stake.com. Put an F in the chat for CoinPage. And then put an F in the chat for Alfalfa. It sucks for all of them. They've lost millions of dollars. And you know what it is. Peace.